On the weekend of August 17th and 18th, Hornby Hobbies opened its doors to the public to celebrate its recently refurbished visitor centre in Margate, as well as offering the first public viewing of the growing full-size one-to-one collection, which also shares the former Westwood Industrial Estate factory site. With plenty of spare space available, a host of trade stands, demonstrations and layouts, including Hornby Magazine's double-gauge West Coast cement, were on display across the two days, as visitors flocked to see behind the normally closed doors. Amongst the attractions on display in the one-to-one collection were Gresley A4, 4464 Bittern, and the most recent arrival, 47841, the Institution of Mechanical Engineers in Intercity Swallow Livery. Also on display were inspection saloons, a Cowan's Sheldon breakdown crane, resplendent in BR yellow, plus a Wickham engineer's trolley, a former BR Southern Region 4-sub electric multiple unit, and more. Hornby Magazine's double gauge West Coast Mainline-inspired exhibition layout proved popular amongst visitors, with a steady procession of locomotives and rolling stock portraying the mid-90s to mid-2000s period. Here, a rail freight distribution livery Class 47 passes over the level crossing with the military working, as a freightliner service, pulled by a pair of Class 86s, passes in the opposite direction. The 128 a reworked Hornby model in Belgian Railways colours, it's a northbound freight as EWS livery class 66 66001 rests between duties in the cement works loop. The Northbound Express swiftly follows, headed by Batman's new 00 gauge Class 90, renamed 90009 The Economist. London-bound Virgin Trains Pendolino 390012 Virgin Star strides across the level crossing. Great use of train tech accessories is made on West Coast cement with level crossing lights and sensor operated car light signals. Mainline blue livery 37055 it's a mixed rack of sea cow and sea lion bogey ballast hoppers. See more in the October 2019 issue of Hornby Magazine.